right guys, today we're going to do an airport arrival into Dubai. All right, well, we're here at Dubai International Airport. Hello. I haven't been here for over a year. This time I was here was in, I want to say, October of 2022. I remember on that one it was a long journey to get to the immigration. So we'll see how long this one takes. May even be faster to walk that. Afterburner time. <laughs> Just came in on a Singapore flight. It was a big old plane full of people. Sometimes it's better to get ahead of the crowd for immigration purposes so the line's not as long. But it seems like there's just serious congestion here. I'm also going to be making a video about the experience I had with Singapore Airlines economy. Definitely a great experience considering its economy. See this right here is what's the log jam stuff. Tripping over people. If I could just get around a few of these guys I think I'll be in the front of the ground. Yeah, all right, it's like the open field, right? I feel like I'm playing football here. Open field. The thing is, can I move faster than the people on the treadmill? I think so. Maybe. treadmill probably would have been better because I could have walked and gained ground but I probably would have
move too fast for the people on that treadmill. The reason I'm moving so fast is because I'm trying to avoid the line at immigration. I've traveled enough times to know when jumbo jets arrive. Okay. Is this... Okay. So I'm going to have to take a train. Oh no, I don't remember doing that last time. What terminal is this? Oh, train to Terminal 1. So what terminal is this? Excuse me. Well, I'll pick up once we get on the train. Here comes the train. That took around four minutes. I like this guy's vibe. He knows to <laughs> get ahead. Yep. Okay, so that line took around a half hour. The uh, smart queue or whatever it is, the smart uh, line doesn't work. I stood in that line for about five minutes and then got to the machine and it kept rejecting me. And then they said, go wait in the line. And by that time, the line had already built up. But man, that was a tough line to stand in because it was so long. But I'm just now waiting for my bag. It's got to be here at some point. I mean, I've been at the airport now for almost an hour. So we'll see. Okay, so I just did a currency exchange here. And 
they charged me 107 Durham. I had 212, I believe 212 Singapore, and they gave me 470 uh, Durham AED. And I looked on my currency converter and it should have been around 580. So they kept quite a bit. I was almost 20%. So far I'm off to a rocky start here. <laughs> Let's see about this uh, SIM card though. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so I got my eSIM card, and that cost uh, 300 AED for 10 days. It's unlimited data though. I tried to do the cheaper one, but it's only e uh, regular SIM. It's not eSIM. So. We're here now. I need a taxi. Where's the taxi? Oh, I got Uber here. Let's see. I think this is a totally different terminal than I did the last time, so I don't know what's going on. Maybe they have like three or four terminals here. But uh, the last one I came to seemed newer, a lot more efficient. Here. Seems like arrival is always just a little bit chaotic, and then it kind of calms down. So it's just how it is, right? But I guess the the smart machine will actually work next time I use it because it will recognize my passport. So if you've been here before with that same passport that you use. You'll be able to use the smart one. But if it's your first time, hello sir. Can't can't use it. So it is middle of November 2023 right now. Everything seems good to go. Let's see. Where's the taxi? Uber. How much? I gotta go to, let me tell you, uh, Double Tree, M Square, Double Tree. Double. Well, I finally made it to my hotel here in Bur Dubai. I am at the Hilton. I'm not gonna stay here very long because this was just a base camp to get into Dubai. It's close to the airport, although it wasn't as close as I thought. Uh, so it's a little bit more complicated, but that was a heck of a process. Um, I read online that Dubai is actually the second busiest airport in the world behind Atlanta Hartsfield. Um, I would say that the first time I came here, it was not that busy. It seemed like I went through immigration a lot faster. I don't know if it's always like that, but that was one heck of a monster line. It moved kind of quick, but there was so many people going through that line. I think that was terminal one. So overall, I would say uh, whew, that was brutal. That was brutal standing in that line. I mean, I was even looking at people behind me. They were just like, whew. kids were screaming. Um, I don't know why it's like that, but yeah, I guess if you can get that smart pass uh, entry, that's the way to go. I think, I think I'm gonna be good the next time to go through that, hopefully, fingers crossed, because that was brutal. <laughs> Um, other than that, the airport's big. Uh, the terminal one that I was at is much older, it appears, than the first one I went to uh, in my last video. That, that one seems a lot older uh, than the one I was at in the first video. So it was still good, uh, efficient, but I don't know. That, when, you, when you have to wait in a line for immigration that long or a long line like that, it takes away from your uh, arrival process feelings. It's just hectic, right? Especially after a long flight, because Dubai is very far away from pretty much everywhere. It's far from Europe, far, far from Asia, Singapore. Um, you know, after a seven hour flight, you don't want to stand in a line like that. I don't know what they can do to make it faster. Maybe those smart um, processing thing, uh, passports, but there was so much glitching, like so many people were getting refused and rejected for that. So, I don't know. 
Anyways, see you guys on the next one. Watch some more of our other videos from Dubai.